we know that we should be setting our podcasts up to bring in new leads and help get people into our funnel, but how can we set up our episodes to help us when we have a new product, a service, or just a general launch happening? Today, I'm going to share the three things you need to think about to make sure your podcast is supporting your Black Friday promos and beyond. Hi there, and welcome to Share, Strategize, and Shine. I'm your host, Caroline Hull, a podcast strategist and CEO of Wild Home Podcasting. I've built my entire career through podcasts by sharing my experience, using strategic systems, and shining a light on the power of podcasting. If you are looking to cultivate leads for your membership, group program, or consulting services, I'm here to help you create a holistic and integrative podcast strategy that'll let your business thrive. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome back to the show. It is a glorious Friday here in Colorado, uh, actually quite warm, which I am not about that because I was in full fall mode. So I'm going to forgive the weather just this once today, but it needs to get its stuff together for sure. Uh, (laughs) So I was trying to think today about what is the problem that we solved this week? And one thing that I kept coming back to was my content. So I don't know if you've been paying attention to my Instagram or even this podcast, but you will notice that we have really tried to shake things up in the content area. I have just really felt like for a while that our messaging and our content was not hitting the mark. And this has been a huge problem for us because I really want to grow my audience. I really want to grow my email list. I have some big goals for myself and my business over the next year. And, you know, none of that is going to be possible if my content isn't hitting the mark. So I thought what I would do today... I'm not sure that we've necessarily completely solved the problem, but I think we are about there. But I wanted to share some of the things that we are doing to uh, make sure our messaging is hitting the mark and kind of some of the steps that we took when we felt like it wasn't. So I think the first thing is like being able to say, this isn't working. I'm going to try something different. A couple of things that we've really shaken up has been this podcast, the format of the podcast, how many episodes we're publishing, and then we're also posting it on YouTube, and then we've also completely shaken up our Instagram and how we're showing up in Instagram, which also affects how we show up in other places because I repurpose that content everywhere. So that's been a huge thing. And so I think like just being able to say like, hey, what we're doing isn't working. Let's experiment. Let's try some different things is a huge like first step. The other thing that I think has been really big for my content, so on Instagram, the one thing I've noticed since we started doing this is we've had so much more engagement, so many more views, so many more interactions, just like a general feeling of momentum has occurred on my Instagram account, which has been really lovely. And the thing is, is we haven't done anything super complicated other than going simpler And then stepping outside of my comfort zone a little bit. So I was, I just have not been really good at creating reels. I have not been, I've been holding back on sharing some things that I think are important because I didn't want to be judged. And we really have pushed me outside of my comfort zone, but in a good way, in a way that I think is going to be very beneficial for me, not only as a CEO of my business and trying to grow my business, but like as a person and as a professional in this industry, I think it's made such a huge impact that I have stepped outside of my comfort zone. So that would be my second like big tip is to find some ways to step outside of what you're normally doing and see if there's another way that you can show up. Uh, And then I think the other biggest thing is just putting my face out there. And I've been talking a lot about visibility and how you have to grow your podcast by by putting yourself out there. There are strategies for getting people to just find you, but if you want to see some really like high impact growth, like you have to be visible. And I think the same thing applies to like email and social media and all of those things that we do in our business. And so I have been putting myself out there more and more and more. 
And the fact of the matter is like all of these things that we are doing, we are seeing the benefits from not only just in traffic, but it, we're just seeing momentum in every aspect of my business. And I think that that is a really huge testament to how marketing has shifted right now and how important it is for people to get to know you and to feel like they can really trust you and be a part of your world. And all of this is encompassed in that. And so if you're feeling like your content just isn't hitting the mark, I would definitely try some of these things. Try going simpler. Try stepping out of your comfort zone. Try showing your face more and see what happens and, you know, and just experiment. I think at the end of the day, it's all about experimenting and not being afraid to try new things. So that's the problem we solved this week. Your podcast is a great way to build trust with your ideal and potential clients. If you haven't listened to the recent episode I did on funnels, like pause this episode and go back and listen to that one because we actually talk about how your podcast is this amazing way to convert warm leads and pull them into your funnel. And I think that's a really big point that I want to make right now, like as we're talking about sales and promotions and launches and how to incorporate your podcast into that, is you really need to think about your podcast as part of your funnel. And you really need to think about it as, hey, it's this piece of long-form content that is going to convert my warm leads and pull them into my world, right? And so before we even think about having or selling something, before we even think about selling something on our podcast, you need to have a funnel set up and understand how people are getting from your podcast to your product. And this should be just running all the time. Go back and listen to that episode because it's it's so valuable. But I, I'm going to tell you, and I mentioned this on the episode as well, you know, having a funnel and having automations in my email system was not something that I have had until recently. And I didn't really understand what they were until I started digging and piecing them together and realized like how incredible and valuable they can be. And so this is something that I've implemented in my business. And it's so great because I know that if somebody signs up for the opt-in, They're going to go through a nurture sequence, and then they're going to go into a launch sequence. I'm also working on some other stuff in there as well. So I think that's just a really, really important piece to understand because that's going to help you understand what call to actions you should have on your podcast and what role your podcast plays in all of that. And so for me, it really was like, oh my gosh, we've got to go back and, you know, instead of talking about step five on the podcast... I want to talk more about step one and two. And so we've really changed um, our perception of what we're going to be promoting here on the podcast for my own business. So as you start to think about, okay, how can I really utilize my podcast for sales, promotions, launches, I want you to make sure that you're utilizing it that way all the time, right? So go back, (laughs) think about that, uh, put that into action, and that'll be such a big help as you start to think about it as this sales vehicle, right? So there's three things that I really think you need to think about if you are wanting to run a sale for Black Friday or a promotion and use your podcast as a huge piece of it. And like side note, if you have a podcast and you're running promotion and sales and launches and all those things that we all do in our business all the time, your podcast should be a part of that. So if you haven't thought about how to do that or have a strategy, this can kind of get you started and help you to think about that. It really should be something that you're constantly doing. But when we have like a launch or a specific promotion, we kind of want to ramp that up, right? And, you know, this is the same for like if you have a membership and you're opening the doors or if you're launching a new program or offer, you can utilize these same things for that as well. But since we have Black Friday right around the corner, I'm going to talk about Black Friday specifically when we're talking about sales. So the first thing I want you to think about is the content around your product. So you've decided what you're going to do for Black Friday. You have a product in mind. You have a promotion you want to run or sale. And if you want to dig more into what types of offers are good for Black Friday, 
uh, sales promotions, all of those good things. I am going to have a resource for you here at the end of the episode, so pay attention to that. But what we want to do once we have that product, that offer, is think about the content around it. Think about what people are going through that's going to lead them to the product. So you want to think about the why. Why are they experiencing this thing? The how, the solution is the product, the service, the offer, whatever that thing is. And so how can you build episodes around that why? How can you highlight and bring forward that thing that they're experiencing or that problem that you're seeing and and talk about it on your podcast? And you can do that in a couple of ways. You can do some solo episodes. You can even bring on, if you have time, people who maybe have bought the product or gone through a program and have them come on the podcast as well to do an interview. But we really want to start thinking about what content is going to be engaging and enticing and is going to lead people into it. Let's think of an example real quick. So let's say that I am selling my membership. Why do people join my membership? What is the catalyst? What are some things they're experiencing that are those moments where they say, this is the thing I need? And how can you create episodes around those things? So that's what I'm talking about when I say content around your product, because we want to kind of create a path through our content. We want people to listen to this episode and then this episode and understand that the solution is this thing, right? The other thing you need to think about, and this this feels like a, a you know a very basic thing, but I, I have to say this a lot to, to people and to clients, is that you have to talk about your product during these episodes. <laughs> so remember when I was talking about content and I said that it needed to be the why and the product needed to be the how or the solution? This is that moment where you mention the solution to the problem and how it is your product, your offer, your program, whatever the thing is, right? And it can be mentioned in a couple of ways. You can run an ad. You can just talk about it in relation to the content. You can build it into the content that you're sharing. So a really good example would be I'm talking about something and I say, yeah, and as I was getting this product ready, I kept thinking this is something that they really need. Or I can talk about something and yes, we were just talking about this in my membership the other day. It's these little like trail breadcrumbs. You've heard me use the crumb to the cookie analogy before, but these are those leaving crumbs moments, right? Where we're not necessarily outright talking about the thing, but it's built into the conversation that we're having and it's built into the content. But on top of that, you have to actually mention the thing. So whether you want to run an ad or mention it at the end of an episode, you know, think about what you feel excited to do and make sure you do it. Make sure you mention it. And then make sure that product, that call to action, that link is everywhere. In your show notes, you know, have an ad in your blog post. Make sure you're sharing it on social Like it just needs to be everywhere, friends. So I actually was on Instagram the other day and somebody was talking about that seven touch points that, you know, there's a saying that you have to reach somebody seven times before they'll, they'll buy. And I always joke, crack a joke and say that it's 50. Um, But that's not really that funny anymore, is it? Um, (laughs) It is. It's still a little funny. But that's absolutely true. And so when you're planning your sales and promotions, especially, you know, just mentioning it in the podcast isn't going to do it. Just mentioning it on in your email isn't going to do it. Just mentioning it like it has to be the combination of all the things. But what's so great about the podcast episodes is that, again, this is that long form content piece. And so you can actually direct people to go listen to the episodes to learn more about the thing that you're selling and promoting. And so it, it kind of becomes a circle like of content, but that's where that thinking of it as a piece of your funnel is going to be so, so important and understanding where it fits and all of that is going to be so valuable to you as you start to think through this. And then the third thing and the last thing and oh, sorry. And then the third thing and the last thing that I want you to think about is 
the actual launching itself. So as we are getting closer to Black Friday weekend, Cyber Monday, that whole time period, you know, what I don't want you to be doing is recording episodes last minute, is freaking out because people are actually clicking your link and you need to fix your funnel. Like launches and promotions are stressful just by themselves because we've got goals, we've got you know, a lot of pressure. We're trying to show up. We're trying to do all the things. This should not be the thing that makes it difficult. Your podcast should not be part of the thing that stresses you out. So what I want you to do is think through all of this ahead of time. Schedule it all ahead of time. Record it all ahead of time and have everything running in the background. So what I recommend, especially as we're leading up to a sale, is you know, to think about your podcast schedule and have however many episodes make sense. Is it two? Is it one? Is it three? Do you want to do a bonus episode around it? Sometimes those don't do as well, by the way. I really find what works better is to just do a regular episode that is content built around the product, okay? Bonus episodes are great if you want to dig a little bit deeper, but just know that those downloads are probably going to be a little bit less than your normal listening downloads. So I recommend having a few episodes, you know, and it's not going to help me if I'm not thinking about them until the week of or two weeks of. What's going to help me is to plan them ahead of time to think about them, to get them recorded, get them scheduled, and then to create a lot of content around those episodes. So I would like, for instance, this episode, I'm going to create a couple of video clips that I'm going to share on social media. And I want to make sure those are already done. They're already scheduled. I want to make sure that I've got my show notes written, that my call to action is super clear. I want to make sure that I've mentioned the product in the episode. And because my episodes are timely, they're going to attract the people who are interested in learning more about me, interested in learning about more about the work I do. And from there, it's going to convert them. See, now we're thinking about that funnel again. So having that all in place and having that all scheduled ahead of time, because especially like Black Friday, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, that whole time period, like what I do not want to be doing is going to my computer. Like I want to be watching football and eating turkey and I don't go shopping that weekend. I don't know if anybody else does, but I typically avoid it. (laughs) But I do a lot of relaxing. Sometimes we're traveling. So what I don't want to be doing is worrying about all of these pieces that I need to have in place for my sale or my promotion to work, right? And, you know, I put a lot of effort and energy into my podcast. And so I want to make sure that that effort and energy is like done and completed and used up before that week hits. Also, my team takes that week off. So like they're not going to be available to help me. So really thinking about your schedule. The point that I'm really trying to make here is that if all of these pieces of content are so, so valuable to you running your promotion and to having a really great sale and a really great launch, whatever the thing is, then we want to make sure that we're really thinking through that content. We're planning and scheduling it ahead of time and it's going to make everything so much easier. Now, there are a lot of other things that you need to think about as well. So I mentioned recording an ad for your podcast and running it in your episodes. So if you have something like a membership or a group program, this is a really great idea. One thing we like to do with our clients is have a few evergreen ads that we can kind of interchange. But then when we're working on a launch or a sale or promotion, we will have a specific ad for that that we will run. And it's just kind of like a, hey... Don't forget about this thing that we're mentioning in the episode kind of moment. And I really do love those. We also want to make sure that you just have a great offer to begin with. And I talked about that when I was talking about planning the content around it. And so really having that put together, knowing what your promotion is going to be, being excited about it, having it ready to go, and having that at the start, right? We want to have that at the beginning of this whole process. And that's going to be really, really important. And then showing up on social and promoting both your episode and your offer. And this can trip people up a lot because 
we're wanting to make sure that we're promoting the episode and all this hard work we put into our podcast episode, but we want to make sure the offer is mentioned as well. And I mentioned that a couple times and how it has to be a part of your funnel. And having that mapped out and planned out is going to really, really help you as you're thinking through what I'm sharing, where, and how I'm sharing it, and when I'm sharing it. And so all of this is actually available inside my Podcasting for Black Friday toolkit. So I put together a toolkit with all of these things. It has a a mini course that's going to run you more in depth into the things that we've talked about today. We even talk about offers a little bit. But then the resources that are also included with that are some episode ideas, some episode swipes, a sample ad script and how to build a really great quick ad, a sample schedule for you to help you plan out your promotions. I'm a visual learner, so I like to see things in action. So a sample schedule is like my favorite thing ever because it helps me to see, you know, how should my podcast, what, where, how many podcasts should I do? Where should they be? What are the things that should go along with them? And then it even includes a sample email, an email template that's going to include how I share about my episode and how I share about my promotion. So if you are running a Black Friday promotion and you're planning on using your podcast as a part of it, I highly recommend you go grab this toolkit. And this is going to help you make a plan because my goal for you is that your podcast is working, is a part of your funnel. And with a little bit of planning and a little bit of strategy, it can do just that and it can help you run not only your Black Friday promotion and sales, but any other launches and sales and promotions you do throughout the year. And let me know, like, let me know if this has helped you think through your sales and launches and promotions, because it's one thing to talk about selling on our podcast all the time. It's another thing to talk about when we are actually in the middle of a launch and a big push for something. And so, Uh, That is something that I love diving into with my clients. I'm so excited I got to share it here with you today. And I hope you have a great, amazing week and a great, amazing time planning your promotions. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for listening to Share, Strategize, and Shine. To give your own podcast some shine, download my free podcast guide to creating episodes for sales by heading to the link in the show notes. Be sure to leave a review and connect with me on Instagram for more podcast strategy insights. Until next time.